a poverty-stricken community ravaged by unemployment, drugs, and crime. But now another menace has been tearing the township apart. A rapist taking advantage of young women by posing as a trusted member of society. He is a Christ-like man and I started trusting him. On the day, we were meant to go to the shopping centre, but he ended up saying he's going to a friend's house and I should join. I saw houses in the area, but he took me into the bush and that's where he raped me. After finding my way home, I eventually told my mother and we went to the police station. The suspect's arrest bring little consolation to his victims. I'm not really okay yet. It seems like he applied for bail, but I don't want him to get bail. Because if he gets out, he might do to others what he did to me. The local rights group and community leaders are calling for the harshest possible punishment. The perpetrator was trusted so much by this family. So, you know, when they do this, they don't know what they're doing to the rest of the family. It is not just the victim that they have violated. They have violated an entire family. Bringing back the death penalty might not be enough. Um, there is much more that needs to be done before we get to that point because that's going to require a change in the constitution, a change in legislation, a change in laws. But in the meantime, there is a situation that must be dealt with. These people are being released without the community um, being informed about it. That's the one thing. The second thing we're saying is that the sentences are not harsh enough. Concerned citizens formed a crisis forum to help combat ongoing violence against women and children. I feel that if I, if I um, spent a little bit more time and made sure that people are more aware of the work that we're doing uh, and maybe being a little bit more available, maybe this wouldn't have happened to that particular girl. South Africa is ranked worst in the world with the highest number of rapes reported every year. The accused will be back at the Mitchell Splain Magistrates Court on the 17th of July facing charges of rape and the community of Tafelsuch are opposing bail saying they do not want him back in the community but rather want him to face the full might of the law. Nasipisame for ANN7, Mitchell Splain in Cape Town.